Hi guys, I just a little while ago I made a video um, about the zombie apocalypse hoax um, and I um, just wanted to add some things um, and I'm going to call this one um, when the collapse comes and, uh, and what all is going to uh, I think that will come about um, in America and uh, the which will affect every American uh, in America. Um, the article I have right in front of me is titled Civil War Coming to America. Um, this might be a very touchy subject for some but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say it anyway um, because as a watchman I uh, need to speak out this uh, subject that the root of our problem uh, of you know that's soon to be probably a holocaust to all Americans uh, and I'm about to talk about that now about what the root of the problem is uh, there was uh, a book that was put out um, all over a century uh, or so ago and a lot of people debunk it well whatever this uh, book was uh, whether it was for real something that was for real or or not uh, it actually speaks the truth of what possibly what would be planned on the American people and whoever wrote this uh, material in this book sounds so much like uh, the Zionists that are working to dismantle our country. Uh, I'm going to read you a, a piece from that book and because uh, it sounds so close to what is going to occur. occur. Uh, there remains a small space to cross and the whole long path we have trodden is ready now to close its circle of a symbolic snake by which we symbolize our people. When this rings close all will be locked into its coil as in a powerful vice. Okay, I want to stop there for a minute. Now the symbolic a snake that they were referring to was uh, what they call I forget what they called the name of it <clears throat> but it is a serpent and it symbolizes Satan actually the picture of it let me find a picture of it first okay this is really the closest one that I could find I know there's one around somewhere uh, but this is called an Ouroboros and it is from a uh, Judaic cult of, of the worship of the red dragon and the red dragon symbolizes Satan and so Satan because Satan in the Bible is referred to as the red dragon um, and it also uh, they believe that uh, the law uh, say what they call the circle of life uh, will meet in the end and come for for circle, and and this is what uh, they worship. Uh, this is also uh, a snake symbol here, and uh, if you see the head of the snake, it meets with the tail, where it's swallowing its tail, and inside here you see the. Uh, image of the he hexagram of that Jewish symbol on their flag. Okay, so you get the idea. Um, okay, then they continue on. It says, we are interested in the diminution, the killing out of the goyim. By want and the envy and the hatred, we shall move the mobs and with their hands we shall wipe out all those who hinder us on our way. 
when the hour strikes for our sovereign lord of all the world to be crowned it is these same hands which will sweep away everything that might be a hindrance thereto we shall create a universal economic crisis whereby we shall throw upon the streets whole mobs of people simultaneously and these mobs will rush delightedly to shed the blood of those whom they have emptied from their cradles and whose properties they will then be able to loot um, okay what they were referring to here now is we know what Obama is doing now, what the Congress is doing in Washington. Their next agenda is to uh, to revamp the uh, immigration reform and to make all illegal aliens citizens here in America, which they really don't care about um, being American citizens or even being American at all. Uh, and you're going to find that out, uh, people, because uh, you sit back and being complacent to all this that's happening, and uh, they're taking these jobs, uh, what jobs that are available, uh, that FEMA, like FEMA, for example, offers them, and they're going to take you off to camps where you believe it or not because when the uh, the economic collapse hits there's going to be ca total chaos and it will happen whether you believe it or not and uh, what they were referring to uh, were these mobs of workers and what I am referring to is the 30 to 40 million illegal aliens. Now many of them are criminals, like criminal murderers, rapists, drug dealers. And they're all coming across the border. Most of them are already here anyway. They come from Mexico, Red China, Communist China, China Pakistan, and the Ukraine, and from all over the globe. When they, uh, when they plan this universal economic crisis and it hits our streets and these people that are thrown out of work, they will be joined by what you call other slackers in society and might I name like welfare, people don't, that don't want to work and they lose on their benefits and then you have like your angry unemployed gangster type people like you know your blacks in the rundown cities you know they're gonna uh, be uh, out there for blood there's gonna be a lot a lot of bloodletting and horror um, out there in the streets and uh, Lennon uh, when he uh, ran the uh, Russia at the, during that time and uh, what happened he called the Red Terror exactly what happened in Russia is the same as going to happen here and uh, already we have seen millions of Mexican illegals marching our streets and they I have found the video there's a video here on YouTube I'll uh, put it down in the info bar but they have made clear that they will come after you when the when the time's right and uh, so you ha put out your hands and welcome to here in this country and it's going to bite you back guys uh, and the book I'm referring to is the pro, uh, protocols of the learned elders of Zion and a lot of people debunked this book and uh, so I, I noticed that the, uh, the Zionists that they're trying their best 
try to hoodwink, try to bully people, and to covering up the real truth, what what is causing, going to cause this worldwide holocaust. And it starts with the bankers. And the bankers are all Jewish, believe it or not. And the fellow that has this owns this website, he can tell you because he was a former Jew. And well, I think it's about basically all I needed to say uh, about what's going to happen in the eco economic collapse because it's coming, guys. And um, I do believe that it's coming this year. Because it's a, a long, it's not, I'm not waiting for it. I don't really want it to happen. But it's a long expected, I put it this way, long expected event that is going to take place. Because no one is not doing anything about it. No one is not uh, calling Washington. They're not marching on Washington. They're not letting them know. Um, you know that they know and oh I don't know guys I just I don't know how what you're going to do until it's too late and then it's going to be too late and then that's when all this chaos is going to happen because the reason I say this and I mentioned uh, about the zombie apocalypse is that it is a co code name uh, for the civil unrest that is to happen because when you get so hungry and you see your children starving basically the Zionists are going to make, make you so dehumanized that you'll be like you will follow after the beast and that's why the Lord calls him the beast because he made all a uh, small or great rich and poor receive a mark in the right hand and in their forehead and many will follow after the beast that's what I warned about all this time and I don't know how long I have to to really you know just get on here and try to explain to you guys as best as I can as best of my knowledge to save yourselves you know this is the, my contribution to try to save you guys um, as you see here the zombie prep is funded by their government that just tells you right there that they know that they have something planned that something apocalypse is going to happen some chaos because uh, this is what they're <laughs> they're basically waiting for for you guys to mess up and it's only a matter of time so wake up guys and do something about it you can you can stop these guys if you want but it's really up to you and even law enforcement is even prepping for this too, the civil unrest. Uh, these were uh, published uh, a couple of months ago, back in 2012, back in October. Man, and I want to tell you about the rapture. We're not going to be raptured out here anytime soon. Um, so we're going to have to go through the tribulation because the Lord told me so and I'm in getting at the end of this video so I'll talk to you guys later okay and y'all take care and uh, I hope you do something do something right because um, there's not going to be nothing left okay that's it for now Jesus loves you guys bye